girl beautiful brown baby doll and today we are talking about how to get these amazing smiles some of y'all might be smiling like <laughs> girl you silly not me boo i'd be like <laughs> yeah and if you're gonna be doing all that i'm gonna need for us to work on these smiles a little bit let's Let's work on them. You want to make sure you hit them with that hard smile. That smile that like brighten up a room. You know what I'm saying? Like who that girl is? She cute. She got that cute little smile going on. You want to catch them with one of these. Or one of these. I purchased everything from my pockets and have been using everything I'm showing you all over the past few years. I have not had any dental procedures like a professional whitening or anything like that. The only thing I get done at the dentist is getting my teeth cleaned. And as you all know, because I took you to the dentist on my blog channel, the only other thing I've had done is a gumvectomy or where they cut away some of your gums. So never had braces never had anything like that so everything i'm showing you is just from me getting regular cleanings also doing little cleaning things at home on my own the stuff that i have i will make sure that i link down below for you so while i have you make sure that you click like on this video if you do comment share and subscribe to this channel and my vlog channel i do upload here every thursday and most all sundays also make sure that you turn on those notifications so that you know when i've uploaded now let's get on into these tips so there was a time in graduate school where I couldn't even afford to really go to the dentist I ain't really had no money like that and I was not on my mama's insurance no more but there are ways that you can take care of your teeth while you're in between cleanings and while you're in between trying to get to the dentist before we get started there's many reasons why your teeth can turn yellow I'm a coffee drinker so first off coffee and tea both of those can stain your teeth that's another reason why I'm so hard about making sure that I brush at least twice a day or even after meals or after I have coffee excessive fluoride intake smoking cigarettes thinning tooth enamel which happens with age eating a poor diet that includes a whole lot of processed foods or very acidic foods if you have a dry mouth then that means you have a lack of saliva a lack of saliva means that you don't have anything to protect your enamel from the things that you're eating from the elements from all of that did you know that breathing through your mouth or having blocked nasal passages can also cause you to have yellow teeth when you don't breathe through your nose a lot of times you're causing your teeth to dry out which once again can dry out the enamel and the saliva is not there to re-moisturize the teeth the way that they should be. Any antibiotic use for a very prolonged time can also wear away at enamel and cause other things to happen with the teeth to cause them to yellow. And finally, just genetic factors. Sometimes it just runs in your family to not have as much enamel on your teeth and that's okay. That's why dentistry is so awesome. You need to make sure you're taking your behind to the dentist. Let them see your teeth and help you and at least go for routine cleanings. I go every six months faithfully now that I got some money in my pocket. Back when I did didn't have money or I didn't have the insurance I at least try to get in there once every year so guys here's my whole dream team lineup of teeth items that I use often or that I rotate of course I don't use all of these every day I definitely rotate these things and I'm going to show you how I use them when I use them and tell you how much I use my toothbrush of choice is the Sonicare healthy white and I love it because it's no nonsense and this thing has a really nice speed control it even has a whitening setting I usually brush with it twice a day and the setting automatically only lasts for about two minutes. I replace the brush heads about every two months faithfully and I don't have to spend a whole lot of money on those. Though a lot of people see Sonicare toothbrush as kind of pricey, I like them because they're easy to use and your teeth are gonna be bomb. Ever since I've been using them, have not had one cavity in four years. My toothpaste of choice is the Crest Pro Health Advance, which looks at tartar, plaque, all of that, and I have had bomb teeth since using it. Oh, I'm one of them people that probably use too much toothpaste, but oh well. I start my process by brushing my teeth. Like I said, I do it twice a day, and I usually let the Sonicare do all the work just running it across my teeth. What you can't see is making like like a little buzzing noise as it goes across my teeth and it's cleaning them off so I don't have to do all the brushing movements I just run it across my teeth and make sure that they feel clean the Sonicare automatically times for two minutes which is cool I also make sure during that time that I run it across my tongue to get off all the debris and nasty stuff off my tongue as well I get all the way around in the back and in the front and if you're really trying to whiten your teeth you want to watch what setting you're putting it on and even if you use a toothbrush that's not electric just make sure that 
that you brush all around your teeth and your gum line because if your gums are not good your teeth won't be good either so i have two flossing choices i love the oral b glide which is awesome because it's thin and it's easy to go between teeth and i use it whenever i need it or at least once a day i'm about to bless y'all souls with this water pig that i didn't used to think would work until i bought one it massages your teeth but it also flosses your teeth and it comes with different heads so that you're able to do different things for your teeth y'all i saw such great results and my teeth have been so healthy just using this three times a week on top of the days that i floss so like toothpaste i use a lot of floss so with my glide floss i just make sure i have enough wrap it around my fingers so it's sturdy and also leave a loop so i can use new floss as needed i go in between each tooth making sure that i get any food out of the middle sometimes that food build up in the middle is what makes your teeth look extra yellow plaque build up tartar build up all of that so just make sure you go in between it sometimes i do it twice on the top and the bottom when i use the water pick i just make sure there's enough water in the little reservoir and i just simply pick the brush head that i want i take that and run it across my teeth just letting the water run into the sink and that's it it gets out all that junk in between your teeth you don't have to do too much and i just like the way it feels massaging your gums and then i rinse with my crest pro health rinse and i make sure that i just take about a half a cap full make sure i get it all the way around my mouth from the front to the back swishing it around i do this usually once to twice a day depending on how dirty my teeth feel and after that if there's anything left i usually have my little oral health care kit so that i can scrape my tongue or go between my teeth if something extra is there or even see to the back of my little mirror now if you need a little bit more help in the whitening department i like this rinse baking soda and peroxide just make sure that it's not too much baking soda because if you have too much grit in the paste then you'll end up ripping off the enamel off your teeth which will defeat the purpose so i just take the runny paste and run it across my teeth for about 30 seconds with my fingertip it's really simple after i'm done i just rinse it all off and rinse it thoroughly with water hydrogen peroxide acts as an antibacterial so it gets all that bacterial out from between your teeth and then the baking soda acts as a plaque remover oil pulling is also a great one because it's a natural teeth whitener and also it acts as an antimicrobial and it helps to prevent bacterial throughout your gums so helps them be healthier i just let mine sit and get to room temperature and just rinse with it and rinse slowly for five to twenty minutes i ain't never made it to 20 minutes though five minutes is good enough and the next one is an apple cider vinegar rinse which basically is just taking a little bit of apple cider vinegar and running it across your teeth but following it with the hydrogen peroxide and water mix and i love this one because it's ph balanced and it helps to remove yellow or darker stains from your teeth which is especially good for us tea and coffee drinkers be careful with this one because it is acidic so you want to make sure you take it all off in the very end i hope that today has been very beneficial for you guys and that you've learned some new tips let me know some of yours down below don't forget to comment share and also subscribe and come back on thursdays and some sundays thanks so much for watching guys beautiful brown baby doll peace